Hi, it's Alan here from Compass Media again. Just wanted to come on and give you another tutorial that's hopefully going to help you in your digital marketing or you getting on your digital on digital platforms as well. Okay, so today what we want to talk about is, is Twitter. Okay, and Twitter as you know is a fantastic platform for getting in front of people and uh, joining in conversations and joining in uh, our different uh, Twitter hours as well. So you know that this is important, but what scares you most is, is how to write a proper tweet, okay? Well, today we're gonna to show you how to do that. So stay tuned, it's on the way. Okay, so today we are going to look at how you create a tweet uh, for your Twitter account, okay? So it is a fundamental part of obviously of what Twitter can do and uh, it's how you connect with people and how you engage in conversations. And uh, you can also have a lot of other features that you can do, little tricks, that will help you along the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump straight into Twitter and uh, have a look at the platform. So <clears throat> as you can see here, we have our Twitter account. And you might say to yourself, well, how do I actually go and create a tweet? Well, you can do it two ways. You can reply to a tweet, you can create a tweet yourself. Or what you can do is, is you can also reply to a tweet and you can also uh, retweet something as well. So, or you can like it as well and save it into your favorites and stuff like that as well. So for the purpose of this um, tutorial, what we're gonna do is gonna show you how to actually create a tweet. So as you can see, this is our Twitter account. And in our Twitter account, we are going to go straight up here to the top, uh, up on the right hand corner. So you'll see you have Twitter search. You also have uh, your Twitter profile, which is your avatar here, which shows you your profiles and your settings. And then beside it, you have tweet. And once you click on tweet, it will open up how you can compose a new tweet, okay? So very, very simple. You have 140 characters. Um, I would always advise you to use only in and around about 100 characters. And the reason why I say this is, is because if someone wants to retweet your tweet, um, we're talking a lot about tweets here today. Uh, if someone wants to retweet your tweet, it means they have a small amount of characters to add their own comment into. So it's a it's a really, really it's a nice little tip. So always remember, try and stay in around the 100 uh, characters uh, limit, just for yourself. If you have more, you can still use them, but uh, ideally, I always say to people, try and use in around about 100 characters. Okay, you can also add in your photos, you can also add in a GIF, you can also create a poll, and you can also create uh, your location as well, where you are, uh, where you are. And this will picked up. This will pick up if you have geolocation on, uh, whether it be on your computer, or on your app, your laptop, or on your phone as well. And all of these, um, all of this, these ways. This is how you create a tweet. So either way, so whether you go on your mobile or your your laptop or your iPad, whatever it may be, it's all still the same. Or your Android phone, for that matter, as well. Okay, so how do we create a tweet? Well, obviously we jump into the section and it says what's happening in gray and that will change as you start to write. So let's create a tweet, okay? So our first tweet was going to be, this is my first tweet of the day. Okay, now I can just post that and it'll come up as a post. But ideally what we wanna do is, is we wanna think about maybe putting in a hashtag or if we wanted to mention someone in the tweet, we would add their name or we could actually have a number of uh, different options in there. So we can include the two. So if for instance, we wanted to put in, um, let's say we wanted to put in a hashtag um, 
Now, don't forget, with a hashtag, you can use any type of words. There's no set words that you have to use. But ideally, what we would say is, is try and use words that are popular, um, that people will be searching for, because people can watch a hashtag as well. And that is another tutorial for another day. But what I want to show you is, is how you actually add a hashtag. So you go hashtag, you add your hashtag in, which is basically like a, a double sign. A, a, you see, you, you know the hashtag sign yourself. You can find it on your keyboard. Um, if you're using Mac, it's uh, Alt and uh, 3 as well. Oh, that's the command for it, okay? Um, okay, so what we want to do is, is we now have a hashtag, but we need to put in words associated with. So let's put in social media uh, training. Let's put in, or even just put in social media, okay? Now, it does give you an option of different um, hashtags that you could use that are very popular at the moment. So once you type in a word, so if we typed in Ireland, it might give us, uh, and let's see if we type in, say hashtag, uh, we just move this over here, and we just go hashtag uh, Ireland, um, it will pick up Ireland ABC, Ireland, Irene. The more you write, the more it will give you, the more information it will actually give you. Okay, so as you can see there, we're not going to, we're just going to, we might, well, we'll put in the second hashtag for a change, okay? But that's how you basically add a hashtag there. Now, as I said, you can make up any type of hashtags. So what I would suggest is if you have got your own business, maybe start using a hashtag uh, for your business. OK, so for instance, we could use a let me say we could use Compass Media for every every tweet we put out. We could put in hashtag Compass Media. So people then if they want to search for uh, information on Compass, Compass Media, they can put in that hashtag hashtag Compass Media and everything that has been tweeted about with that hashtag hashtag will show up in a search. So it's a nice way of narrowing down a conversation as much as anything. Okay, so now what we want to do is, is maybe we want to add someone into the tweet. Okay, so let's say we add in Compass Media. All right, well, we can add in anyone. I'm just using Compass Media for the sake of it. So we use the at sign. And the at sign is like what, what will identify the actual person's account. Okay, so we go hash, we go at K O M, and you can see that Compass Media comes up straight away. Okay, and there you go. So that's basically how you would create the at sign. Now, what happens there is, is Compass Media will know that someone has tweeted to them, or tweeted about them, or mentioned them in a tweet. If, for instance, we were to take this hashtag here, or we were to take this, uh, this. Uh, Twitter account here, and we say we just copy that, uh, we cut that, and we might paste that in it um, right there. So we just move that back, and then we go paste. Um, right, what's going to happen there is, is Compass Media will be automatically notified that a tweet has come. So once you start your tweet with the at sign, it means then that someone actually is getting that message first. But everyone else will still see the post, uh, will still see the tweet as well. But it's just, it's a handy way if you wanted to actually direct your mail or direct your tweet at that uh, particular company. Okay, so as you can see, we just take that out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back in here at KOM. So there we are there, let's just grab that again. And so, and that's the easy way. That's the easy way of creating a tweet. So now we have our first tweet. And then basically all we have to do is, is press tweet and it will automatically tweet it out. If we wanted to add an emoji in, we just click on the emojis. And what it does is it pick up all the different emojis. So if we wanted to say, put a smiley face there beside it. And we wanted to put in maybe something else. I don't know, well, let's just put in uh, maybe a thumbs up or something like that. Uh, let's see, yeah, thumbs up, we'll use that one there, okay? So what we can do is, is we can we can go and we can just tweet that now. So if we wanted to add a photograph, we would just click on add photo. And what it does is it'll find the photograph. So for instance, uh, we might put in, let's just put in this backdrop here. So, okay, so we can put in that one and it'll automatically in. Now, what you can do, 
and this is a bit more advanced but it is a pretty cool trick to do is, is if you have used all your character count in here and how you know you've used all your character count is if you look down on the bottom you'll see I have 66 characters left left so if I had 140 characters but I wanted it to direct it to direct it at someone I can click on who's in the photo now when I click on who's in the photo I could add in say let me see we could put in say pebbles and wax all right now what happens is is pebbles and wax will be mentioned in the tweet they will see that tweet so pebbles and wax can see that tweet and they'll know that we've tweeted that post out to them okay so what we do is is it notifies them so then when we're ready to post or when we're ready to tweet it we just click on tweet and off it will go off onto social off onto twitter so there you can see that is the twitter that's the tweet that we're just after creating so i hope this is of interest here and i hope this has helped you a little bit in creating your tweets on twitter and if you need any more information, you can get in contact with us uh, at Compass Media. We provide social media training, one-to-one -one training, and also group sessions as well. This is a part of a suite of different tutorials on Twitter. So uh, do have a look around the website and do come back and uh, check our social media, which is at Compass Media on Facebook. And you can also find us here on Twitter at Compass Media as well uh, for all of the tweets and um, for all of the tutorials that we put up. We also have our YouTube channel as well. So have a look at all of these uh, for more tutorials on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on all different aspects of social media. So I'll talk to you soon and until the next time, have a great day. And as I always say, be social. Bye bye.